What's up beautiful people? My name is Liz and welcome to another video of my YouTube channel. Today, I thought I would take you guys on a room tour, except with a little bit of a twist. Most of you do not know this, but I actually recently moved, and well, I haven't fully moved in yet. My room is a freaking complete horrible mess, so I thought I would DIY my own room makeover and just show you guys the before and after pictures. So without much further explanation, we're just gonna go straight to the video. Alrighty, so before we start, I thought I would show you guys the before. I live in a huge mess right now, but I promise I will fix it. Hold on to your seatbelts because you're gonna probably want to run away after you see this. Whew. Okay, all right, here we go. Alrighty, so I'm already extremely scared to do this and begin it. I'm already even scared to just start cleaning. So I just got a, like a lot of clothes that I gotta put in hangers and stuff like that and I'm gonna be setting up everything. So just feel free to sit and enjoy my struggle of everything that is going on right now, so. Okay Liz, you can do this, let's go. I really have no idea why I never did this, so now I have a huge ass mess and I'm starting to regret it. Right now, real quick, I'm starting to really regret it, as you can see I'm probably hella messy right now and I'm tired. What time is it? It is 10. It's 10 p.m. and I am exhausted. I mean, I did get most of my clothes out and my books are all packed, but I still have a bunch of trash everywhere. So day one was somewhat successful. Now with the magic of editing, I will take you guys to day two. Good morning, beautiful people. It is the morning of the next day and I have got some shopping to do as I quickly realized last night. So I am going to get ready. This is how I look. These are my PJs. I didn't get much done, so I'm gonna get ready and then we're gonna go shopping. So this is what I look like. Actually, let me change real quick. All right, this is how I look. I got a jean jacket on and just a regular, you know, crop top t-shirt, my leggings because I got no jeans or no jeans fit me. I've got, of course, a hat because my hair is not cooperating. And then yeah, some Nike shoes. We're gonna be a little bit sporty because we're gonna be going shopping and picking up heavy things. So, so yeah, let's go. Alrighty, so first up, it is Ross for less. Ooh, I've been needing something like that is rose gold and I think this, this is cute. Quick little tip, in stores like Ross, they have like really small things that could work to organize and make everything cuter. Some furniture too, they have cute furniture sometimes. Like, look at this. This is cute. Like they have so many little things that would work to decorate a place and for a cheap price. So I highly suggest that. Maybe if you guys want to look for something. Oh my God, I have one of these. They have it for a really cheap price too. So, so if you guys want to like decorate your room and have it be nice and pretty and different, like completely change your style, then Ross is the place to go. Guys, I have a little dilemma. So my hangers that I have in my room have the rose gold hook and they are pink suede and these are pink suede but they don't have the gold hook and these have the gold hook but they are not pink suede so I don't know what to do ah. I am in a bit of a dilemma and I might need help but I think I kind of want to match all of the hooks and if they're a different color then they're a different color but I mean these are so cute and whatever I'm gonna keep these and I am looking for a rug, but I don't think they have the ones that I wanted. I wanted a... Oh, there they are. So I did a quick cut and I just ended up getting a bunch of stuff right in between shooting. So here's what I'm going to show you that I'm probably going to get. So I got another one of these because because I got one that was white one also, but the top is different. So I just wanted to like add a little bit more of a variety and color to my room. And I got these. Brows speak for me because my eyebrows are well they're huge so they do speak for me um, I have these 
I really like the color of the flowers and this magnificent Chanel one. I got a gray rug, so yeah, we're gonna see once I set it up. And let's hope that I don't spend any more money on anything else. <laughs> Alrighty, so next stop is Ikea. Right here, I'm gonna get myself a bookshelf so that I don't have to deal with the small one that my mom let me borrow real quick. You guys will see huh, what I need. I just love Ikea so much. Cause it just makes you wonder and think like, what will my future home look like? I was looking into getting one of these too cause I have some extra shoes that didn't fit in my closet. So yeah, <laughs> why, why? I'm still gonna take a picture of it. Oh, bookshelves. Ooh. Ooh, LED lights, but I can buy some on Amazon. I kind of wanted a, a lamp that will allow me to read at night, but I do know one lamp that I really, really want, but I only found it on Pinterest, so that's going to be for another segment. All right, we're back home and now I am going to start measuring and see what I can do. I'm probably, since it is already nighttime and it's really, really late, I'm probably going to only work on things a little bit and then I am going to go to bed because I've got work tomorrow. So day two, here we go. All right guys, day two is finished. I have cleaned up most of it. It looks mainly clean. Tomorrow is the day where we hang things up and the room is finally gonna be shown. And let's just hope that the whole process is worth it because honestly, my wallet has gone through hell. So I sure hope that you guys really like this video because it's a big one. It's a big one for me because I finally, I'm gonna have a room that I like to live in and that I like to stay in. So ah, I'm excited. Okay, day two is officially over and I will see you guys on day three. All right, guys, it is officially day three and I have gotten rid of the boxes that I had. Alrighty, so what we're first going to do is we're gonna build the bookshelf so that I don't have to keep this small little one and I have enough space so that I can put the books in. Okay, we have moved down to the floor and I am about to open the box to take you guys with me through the process. Now that I basically used all of my She-Hulk strength to open this box because I don't know what the hell they put to seal it. I have finally got it now open and I am about to build it. So let's get to building. All right, you guys, I am finally done, and I'm so excited for you guys to see this. So, are you ready to see the final look? Here we go. Now 
Now that was quite the change, right? <laughs> so I'm super happy with the way that everything turned out. And yeah, I'm probably gonna put something else on the wall later on. I honestly think that the room looks fantastic and it's been a full 36 hours of labor-intensive work that has gone into this whole thing and I'm hoping to do something else in the future. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked this video because I sure had a lot of fun filming it. If you liked the transformation of the room and how it ended up looking at the end, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys would like to see next and I will see you guys next time. Bye!